Welcome back to the Billy Meyer Books channel on YouTube. This is our fourth introductory series video, and this one is about the books Billy Meyer has written. Most people aren't aware of how many books Billy has written, and because of this, I wanted to create a video with a complete listing of all the books that Billy has written as of the making of this video, which is August of 2023. Billy is still writing and will publish more books in the future. For now, I would like to present you with The Books of Billy Meyer. The Psyche. The Psyche is a book that introduces the reader to our spiritual and material consciousness. In addition, the book explains our psyche, gemut, feelings, sense, and our memory. There is also a beginning lesson on concentration and how to develop it, which is a prerequisite to meditation. The back of the psyche reads, The smith of the destiny is the human being himself or herself. The Way to Live The Way to Live is an easy-to-read book because it is laid out in 500 verse sections with explanations. Billy introduces the reader to the meaning of life along with its struggles and challenges. The back cover reads, When human beings harm the ones next to them, then they first and foremost harm themselves because their own evolution is thereby inhibited. But progress is the effective recommendation of the life. In order to grow in knowledge, love, peace, wisdom, and harmony, whereby the law of the creational plan and way is fulfilled, so that the sense of the human life shall be directed at evolving and becoming knowing and wise, in order to one day go into the creation in the highest form achievable regarding this, and to become one with it. If you are new to Billy's material and would like a good place to start, both The Way to Live and The Psyche are excellent books to begin with, and both are available in side-by-side -side German and English. Decalogue, Do Decalogue. The Decalogue is the Ten Commandments in their original form before they were falsified. There are also two additional recommendations, hence the name Dodecalogue, that have been concealed from mankind until now. On the back, there is a quote from the book Ohm. May the human being recognize every law and recommendation of the creation. And as he or she has recognized one, he or she shall comprehend it and live accordingly because the laws and recommendations of the creation are the greatest wisdom. Talmud Emmanuel This 2,000-year-old manuscript was found in a cave in Jerusalem in 1963 and describes the life and work of Emmanuel. The back cover reads, the Talmud Emmanuel is the true testament of Emmanuel, known as Jesus Christ. The old, original document from Emmanuel's time was discovered in 1963 in the actual tomb cave of Emmanuel, where it had lain buried, encased in resin for about 20 centuries and had endured the long time. The discoverer of the real tomb cave of Emmanuel was later murdered in Baghdad after he had already translated a good portion of the old scripts into the German language for his friend, Billy Edward Albert Meyer. Introduction to Meditation It is the teaching of meditation, the teaching of the spirit to self-knowledge, which is founded in the recognition of what is truly real and the mastery of all factors of spiritual and physical life. The back of the book reads, The teaching of meditation is the spiritual teaching for self-cognition, which is based in the recognition 
of that which is truly real and the mastering, controlling of all factors of spiritual and physical life. The teaching of meditation is the teaching of Gewaltsam Gewaltlosigkeit, which is based in absolute logic according to the laws of sevenness, explained in the value of the Gewaltsam Gewaltlosigkeit. Gewaltsam Gewaltlosigkeit is a German term which roughly translated into English means powerful powerlessness. Another book on meditation by Billy is Meditation from a Clear Point of View. Billy began to learn meditation at the age of five from his first plier in contact, Svath. Over many decades, Billy expanded his knowledge and experience of meditation and writes about meditation in this book, Meditation from a Clear Point of View. In the book, Billy explains the many different forms and approaches of meditation, the real importance of meditation, what meditation really is, and what influence it has on the body and consciousness. He also gives valuable advice and explains many terms and relationships that are still unknown today. There is a video on the Billy Meyer Books YouTube channel about beginning meditation if you are interested. If you are interested in how the universe came into being, then Genesis would be a good place to start. Genesis, the teaching of the origin of creation and the evolution of the universe. An excerpt from the book. It shall be given to you another time, human being of the earth, the teaching of the truth, teaching of the spirit, teaching of the life in the sequence as it was your own at the earliest time, before you were falling away from the laws and recommendations of the life. The teaching shall be given to you initially in the form of the wording of the all-timeliness, finely ordered in numbered sequence, in order then to be presented in an explanatory teaching so that it will be comprehensible to the individual. Ur, 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 Origin of All Existence. If you are interested in cosmology and the origin of the universe, then this is a book for you. Billy describes the origin of the universe, including the Big Bang. This book is filled with distances, measurements, and timelines of our universe and the many different connected realms that we are not yet aware of. Existing Life in the Universe Existing Life in the Universe is about Billy's contacts with the Pleiaran, extraterrestrial life, the soul system, comets and meteors, and how the universe is teeming with many different forms of life. An excerpt from the book. This book is addressed in particular to mankind of the planet Terra, called the Blue Planet, in the system soul, whose mankind stands in an age of beginning space travel and looks for the threshold of the breaking of the borders to the universe, and whose sense begins to slowly and seriously deal with the question of extraterrestrial life and also begins to consider the possibility of contacts with visitors from the depths of the universe. Towards the end of the 20th century, in the search for extraterrestrial life, particularly for human life, Earth humans and serious scientists have recognized many universally valid laws of creation and therefore are in the belief or knowledge that besides the planet Earth in the soul system, many other worlds in the universe are inhabited. Towards the end of the second millennium, man on Earth begins to understand more and more that floating throughout the endlessness of the universe are the basic substances of life, which are able to inseminate and animate worlds everywhere. And slowly, Earth humanity begins to understand that by the universal insemination process, 
Not only the blue planet Earth in the system's soul has produced human intelligent life, but that in the infinite vastness of space, still further and innumerable planets have been awakened by a natural insemination to many-fold life with flora and fauna created according to their kind as well as a corresponding human life form. From the Depths of Outer Space Billy tells the story of his contacts with the Pleiaren from the very beginning up until the present day. He talks about his contacts with Svath and Asket prior to his first meeting with Semyaze. Billy describes the Pleiaren homeworld of Era, what their society is like, and some of the things about their highly advanced technology. The back cover is a quote from Semyaze. Wisdom is the light, and wherever the light flashes, darkness and unknowledgedness disappear. Unknowledgedness is the essence of the darkness and can only be overcome through the light of the wisdom. About the Fluidal Energies This book is a collection of questions Billy answered during kitchen conversations. Billy explains what fluidal forces are and what influence they have on human beings. Billy discusses spiritual healing, ghosts, aura, and astral body, cremation, consciousness, and many, many other topics. The back cover reads, Fluidal powers. What a mysterious, unknown world hides behind this word. With us in Figu, they were often a topic. Questions over questions arose. The answers to our questions led, as soon as they were thought over, again to new questions, and so uncountable pages arose about this extremely interesting and fascinating field of topic in our kitchen conversations. Goblet of the Truth Goblet of the Truth is a book containing the entire teaching of all the prophets, which include Enoch, Elijah, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Emmanuel, Muhammad, and Billy. Because the teaching of the prophets collectively is one and the same, certain parts of the teaching appear in multiple forms and with different phrasings, but are always formed with all of the necessary and corresponding methods of explanation appropriate for their time. The individual prophets are not named in the book because their teaching was one and the same and has remained unchanged. The Goblet of the Truth has been adopted to modern language and presented as the final and definitive teaching of the truth teaching of the creation energy, teaching of life. Of course, the teaching of life wouldn't be complete without teaching about death. Billy has written two books about life and death. The first one is titled, Life and Death. And as the title suggests, this book is about the life and death of human beings. It describes the immortal spirit that each person has and how the spirit transitions to the hereafter, or the death life, after the death of the physical body. The back cover reads, Death is not the end of life, but a new beginning and start. Because death reaches out to you for a new, better life, which unfolds in rebirth, adhering to the law of creation. Another book about life and death is called Rebirth, Living, Dying, Death, and Sorrow. In this book, Billy tells us the truth about the entire cycle of birth, life, dying, death, and rebirth. He also writes about what part of us is transitory and what part of us is immortal. 
Billy discusses karma, suicide, and how to deal with sorrow and emotions that can accompany the death of a loved one. The back cover reads, The death belongs likewise to the life, as the life belongs to the death. Both cannot exist without each other, because they are as dependent on each other as the wakefulness and the sleep. And just as the sleep occurs without the human being able to escape it, so the death also occurs at the end of days, whether the human being now wants it or not. There is also a video on the Billy Meyer Books YouTube channel about death and dying. Might of the Thoughts Billy teaches us about our world of thoughts, how a thought affects our psyche and how our psyche affects our feelings. Before each feeling, there is a thought that leads to that feeling. Our whole life, our experiences, our feelings, and our success or failure is brought about solely through our own thinking. The back cover reads, the root and the fruits of all human phenomena are one's own consciousness and its thoughts, the might of which translates everything into reality. Prophecies and Predictions This book contains prophetic statements and predictions by Billy of the coming events on Earth since 1976. The back cover reads, Thursday, November 19, 1981, 528 p.m. Europe sinks in ashes and embers. In the sands runs human blood. The third world fire rages and rages. A work of madness, praised by evil. Millions of deaths rampant. Human beings are mercilessly raised away. It is war the third world fire, conjured up by human hand, by religion, cult, greed, hate, and power, because the terrestrial human only laughs at love. Since time immemorial, political greed for power and cult religion have made a mockery of truth. Through it, they now trigger the war in 666, the sign of evil. directives. This book provides guidelines and rules of conduct for the attainment and maintenance of mental health, physical health, and purity of consciousness. It includes the hygiene of the body, psyche, spirit, and consciousness, which is anchored in the teaching of the spirit. The back cover reads, alcohol, drugs and poisons today, Hygiene in case of disease. Hygiene of the psyche. Pets and hygiene. Parasites, cleanliness, pubic hair, fleas, lice. Human beings and animals from a hygienic point of view. Vermin. The hair of human beings. Hygiene of the body. Om. The book Om contains the most important creational laws and recommendations, rules of order and guidelines, the goal and task of man in the material and spiritual life, and has been interpreted and explained by Pata and Billy. Meaningful, dignified, valuable. The back cover reads, This wonderfully versatile book will wash up a whole ocean of new ideas, suggestions, and truths into your consciousness, filling you with thoughtfulness, joy, and insight, and making this work a reliable and trusted companion throughout life.
A Modicum of Knowledge, Sense, and Wisdom This book contains short sayings, aphorisms, and wisdom from Billy. Many of these sayings were published in the Quotes video series here on the Billy Meyer Books YouTube channel. The back of this book reads, If a human being is filled with love towards himself, as well as towards his fellow human beings and all life existent on the earth and in the universe, then he carries heaven within himself. An Open Word Billy describes the criminal, inhuman, and murderous machinations of the religions, especially of Christianity, the church, and their sects. Their degenerated, exploitative, violent criminal assassinating, as well as truth-falsifying works and deeds, are revealed and described in an open word, in free and uncensored language. God Delusion and God Delusion Disease The back cover reads, What is God? Excerpt from Chapter 4 Basically, God is an invention of the human being, respectively, the human brain, whereby the human being has inherited the imaginary deity over millions of years genetically in the form of schizophrenic and epileptic delusions and has settled in the temporal lobes as well as in the parietal lobes. Religious experiences that appear create forms of schizophrenic delusions and are therefore the result of a genetically inherited religious belief. <laughs> what is the creation universal consciousness? Excerpt from chapter one. The creation is a tremendous, neutral, energetic, and evolutionary entity being which is not a being as such, but an entity as a purely natural energy state, a naturally evolutionary spirit energetic energy and effect. The entity creation is a pure spirit energetic state of being, a radiating spirit light energy, and therefore no being in the sense of a human being or any other creature or any other personified being, therefore also no deity in a superhuman way. <laughs> Why human beings become what they are and fighting depression. How and what the human being cultivates negatively or positively in terms of thoughts, feelings, and emotions, what values he has, and what habits, actions, and behaviors, as well as traits he accordingly lives out and brings to the fore. With that he influences and changes his genes, and thus also shapes his psychic consciousness-related and physical condition. For reflection. The back cover reads, An explanation of the spiritual teaching. The study of the spiritual teaching means that there must be a study of both the positive and the negative because both are necessary and cannot be disregarded or omitted. Therefore, in the spiritual teaching, positive and negative facts must be mentioned and learned. This precisely means that not only the material of truth, but also the material of untruth, falsehood, and delusion must be mentioned and learned, because it is impossible to understand the negative, untruth, false doctrine, and delusion, etc., if it is not known and therefore has not been recognized and understood as such beforehand. Another excellent book by Billy, Becoming a True Human Being. The back cover reads, Truths of life 
which the human being must recognize and use to make himself a true human being, to cope with life, to understand death, and to face it with dignity and without bitterness, detached from fear and timidity. Law of Love The law of love is about love as the basis of all existence. There are two main forms of love, affective love and effective love. Affective love, also called emotional love or feeling love, is generated by human beings through their thinking, will, feelings, emotions, impulses, and perceptions. Effective love, also called true love, is formed in the spiritual consciousness. Learn about love and deepen your understanding of love by learning how effective love and effective love are different. On the back of the book, Billy has written his definition of love. Love is the absolute certainty of co-living and coexisting in everything that exists. In fauna and flora, in fellow human beings, in every material and spiritual life form of any kind, and in the existence of the entire universe and beyond. If you are interested to learn more, there is a video on the Billy Meyer Books YouTube channel about love. The next book is Lessons for the Teaching of the Truth teaching of the spirit, teaching of life. This book is a guide to understanding the purpose and meaning of life. It is about understanding the creation and its natural laws and recommendations, and is a guide to learning and understanding the knowledge, truth, wisdom, love, peace, freedom, and harmony of all existence. The back cover reads, the knowledge of the spiritual teaching is like a vast surging ocean of infinite size from which endless true love, true knowledge, and true wisdom swirl up. Consequently, all these values need only be consciously recognized, taken, understood, and consciously used by human beings. Laws and Recommendations of Behavior for Mastering the Problems of Life. If you are burdened in an interpersonal relationship or a relationship of closed or open partnership, friendship, acquaintance, or in relation to children, and you have problems, doubts, or intellectual, feeling-based, or psychological pain, then you may be quite sure that everything will be resolved if you are only open and truthful towards yourself, as well as towards those closest to you or your fellow human beings who you have to approach and who are the impetus for your doubtful, problematic, or painful behavior. <laughs> Living life right through being. The back cover reads, a human being must learn to live life again. In fact, very many people have forgotten and unlearned how to really live life. Consequently, they have to learn again how to live life truthfully. Far too many no longer know what the true way of life looks like. Consequently, they also no longer understand how to live life in a good, correct, valuable and progressive way. Thus, they have equally great deficits concerning the shaping and conduct of life, which are constantly growing larger and more extensive, as well as concerning the identification, recognition, and observance of the omnipresent creational natural laws and recommendations. The Rosy Red Crystal 
This is a children's book containing 11 fairy tales with instructive content. It is suitable for children, adults, and has many illustrations. The Truth About the Pliaran Billy describes his life story beginning from his childhood and describes his telepathic and physical contacts with the Pliaran. The Pliaran share detailed information about the history of mankind, the nature of the universe, and human consciousness. Billy also describes the technical, cultural, and artistic achievements of the Pliaran. Education of Children, Adolescents, and Adults. The back cover reads, Education is not the same as upbringing because there is much more to it than is generally assumed and understood. Education is the non plus ultra, which determines whether the person becomes, in every respect, righteous, good, loving, compassionate, etc., or asocial, criminal, or even felonious and murderous. A good and correct education can take place only in families that are socially and humanely fully intact in which the parents themselves were given proper, sound, and valuable education, and who are effectively able to be educationally instructive themselves, to give their children and adolescents a worthy and correct education and instruction. Wisdom and Facts of Life The back cover reads, What is Inner Freedom? Inner Freedom is an internal human state based on complete independence from any negative attitudes and habits, as well as the absence of any anxiety, fear, and inner compulsions. Inner Freedom also includes inner positive self-acceptance, self-knowledge, self-respect, and uplifting and conscientious self-love, as well as inner peace, healthy self-esteem and balance, harmony, joy, happiness, and contentment, and all of these values being grounded in honesty and sincerity. All these values are loved, cherished, and always maintained in all circumstances, thus consciously nurtured and guarded. Twelve thousand and twelve ancient first names in their original form and with their meanings received and recorded by Billy. The back cover reads, Again and again the people of Earth look for first names when giving their descendants a name that fits and applies to them. However, the spelling, accentuation, origin, and meaning of the names still existing today are often questionable, insufficient, or altogether lost. For this reason, FIGU, Free Community of Interest Universal, has decided to research and record the first names once used on Earth in their actual original form, including their accentuation and meaning. It turns out that the original forms of the names have partly been preserved in their sense as well as in their pronunciation, etc until today, while other parts have been completely or partly changed or even completely lost. Mankind of Earth finally strive for peace and freedom instead of war and terror. Terrestrial Mankind Finally come to your senses and let go of your hatred, your racism, and your greed for power, as well as your roaring terror, also all lethargy against those closest to you. Finally stop war and hostility against other countries and many parts of the earth, and also put an end to the death penalty and shape yourselves into a true, valuable human being.
Book of Witnesses. This is a collection of witness statements concerning Billy's contacts with the Pliaran. More than 100 witnesses recount their first-hand experiences with Billy's contacts. Adventures of a Globetrotter. This book has adventures, articles, and short stories from the experiences of Billy Meyer in his youth. Inventory of photographs. This is exactly what the book is. This book contains photographs taken by Billy from May 17, 1964 through February 5, 2004. It shows the photograph, the time and date taken, and a short description. It's an excellent photo reference book. If man wants to become happy and content. The back cover reads, a book for the person who is unhappy and dissatisfied and lacks healthy self-love, inner peace, as well as inner freedom and harmony. Questions to Billy from May of 2013. This book is a compilation of questions from various people that were posed to Billy Meyer by Michael Horn in 2013. The back cover reads, Question, what is the best way for human beings to turn away from faith and begin to study spiritual teachings? Answer, the only way to turn away from faith is for human beings to turn to a thought-feeling-based reality and its truth. In this way, it is necessary to control and cultivate one's own thoughts and feelings so that effectively only reality is perceived and only this reality is accepted and understood intellectually and rationally. In this way, human beings have to search for, find, and acknowledge reality and actual truth within themselves because truth only emerges from the reality of what actually exists and is given. And only when reality is acknowledged and its effective truth is recognized, acknowledged, and understood is liberation from imagination and the delusion of belief achieved. My Legacy Man of Earth, I Wish for You. And the back cover reads, Evil thoughts and feelings create an evil face, but friendly thoughts and feelings smooth out even sorrow and pain. Therefore, I wish you, human of the earth, that you can always enjoy a free smile on your face as well as in your being, in which the whole world shall also participate. Sixty-one years of poems, proverbs, and aphorisms. The back cover reads, I just can't stay calm when a human being hates human beings, when human beings commit murder and war, and death grasps all of life. Oh man, I could bring you love and give you the most beautiful goodwill of creation if I could penetrate you with powers to provide you with peace and the art of knowledge. Man, I will risk everything for you, hoping never to pause and never to rest, so that love will one day bear fruit and you will stand in your own good deeds. When I am dead, perhaps you will be freed from the yoke which you impose on yourself in the desire to one day still find truth and love. In addition to the books you have just seen, there are two series of books. The first is the Spirit Lessons. The Spirit Lessons are a structured course of study in the teaching of the truth, teaching of the creation energy, teaching of life. 
Each book contains three lessons and a book is sent out every three months. The second series is the Pleiadian Pleiaran Contact Reports. This is a series of books containing the conversations of Billy and his extraterrestrial visitors, the Pleiaran, and others from their Federation. Each volume, or block, contains about 500 pages. As of the making of this video, there are currently 19 blocks available. Block 20 is complete and should be available this month, August of 2023. All of Billy's work goes through a correction process to eliminate spelling or typographical errors. The Pleiadian Pleiaran Contact Report Block 21 is currently in the correction process, and a new book that Billy has written, entitled Teaching of the Creation Energy, is also in the correction process and will be published in the future. Thank you for watching this video on the books of Billy Meyer, and I'll see you in the next video.